So we've got two mixed numbers. They're called mixed numbers because they are a mix of a whole part and a fractional part. How the heck do we divide two mixed numbers or find their quotient? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. Here's the thing. Mixed numbers are pretty useless and kind of irritating. We don't want to do basic operations with mixed numbers. It's no fun. So the first step, which is pretty easy, is to convert both of these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to write six and a half as an improper fraction, we need to turn six into a fraction in terms of halves. So how many halves are there in six? Well, that's just six times two. That's 12. There are 12 halves in six. Then in total, we could write six and a half as the 12 halves that are in six, plus the one half that we already had there. So that's 12 plus one over two. So remember, in order to turn a mixed number into an improper fraction, all we need to do is multiply the whole part by the denominator, that's six times two, which gave us our 12, and then add the numerator of the fractional part and then divide that sum by the denominator of our fraction. Let's try it again, doing the same thing to convert our other mixed number. We want to write two in terms of fourths. How many fourths are in two? Well, that can be found by just multiplying two by four. Two times four is eight, so we see there are eight fourths in two. So again, remember the process. We just multiply the whole part by the denominator of the fraction, that's eight. Then we add the numerator of the fraction, so plus one, and divide that sum by the denominator, divide by four. Now we have rewritten the division of mixed numbers as the division of improper fractions. Just to quickly do some simplifying here, we know that 12 plus one over two, what's that equal to? Well, that would be 13 over two. And then divide that by eight plus one over four, that's nine over four. Now we're almost there. How do we divide fractions? You might remember that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So 13 over two divided by nine over four is the same as 13 over two multiplied by four over nine. To quickly explain why that is, let's rewrite this division in fraction form. So we could rewrite it as 13 over two divided by nine over four. Remember, if you multiply a fraction by another fraction that happens to be equal to one, of course, the value of the fraction doesn't change because you just multiplied by one. We can think of that as multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number. It doesn't change the value of the fraction, it just changes the way it looks. Then, imagine we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the reciprocal of this denominator. So we multiply them both by four over nine in order to get rid of that denominator. We see in the denominator, these fractions cancel out, and then we're just left with the multiplication in the numerator. And thus, you can see dividing by nine over four comes out to be the same as multiplying by four over nine. Now let's finish the problem. Multiply across the numerators. 13 times four is equal to 52. Multiply across the denominators. Two times nine is 18. Then I notice both the numerator and denominator are even, so we could multiply them both by one half in order to simplify the fraction. 52 times a half is 26, and 18 times a half is nine. And this, my friends, is six and a half divided by two and a fourth as an improper fraction. So that's how we divide mixed numbers. Let's rush through one more example. So three and a third divided by two and three fifths. Give this a try yourself and then watch the rest of the video. Hopefully you've given it a swing. Now let's see the solution. In order to turn three and a third into an improper fraction, multiply the whole by the denominator of the fraction. That's three times three, which is nine, and then add the numerator of the fraction, which is one. Then divide that sum by the denominator. Then we do the same thing for two and three fifths. Two times five is 10. So we have 10 plus three in the numerator and then divide by the denominator of five. Then we just need to simplify our numerators. So nine plus one is 10. That's getting divided by 
3, and then that's getting divided by 10 plus 3 over 5, which is 13 over 5. Then, dividing by a fraction, as we went over, is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is equal to 10 over 3 times 5 over 13, and then we just multiply across the numerators and denominators. This gives us 50 divided by 39. 50 and 39 have no common factors, so this is as simple as we're going to get. And that is 3 and a third divided by 2 and 3 fifths as an improper fraction. So I hope this lesson helped you understand how to divide mixed numbers. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.